we're back second part of this video all right what i wanted to do is today we're going to do an unboxing of the ekwb it's an active back plate um basically active back plate means that it um supplies water to the back plate of the video camera. normally like i said in the last video i wouldn't even really recommend this for anything other than maybe 3090 because 3090 has so much vram on the back of the card so long story short is i ran a couple of tests with just the front water block the ek water block that i put on last week yeah and it's taken me over a week to get everything all squared away here i use the original back plate that came with it because you can use that you need to do a little bit of adjusting but it's not it's not the end of the world i also use the uh, aftermarket ek aluminum back plate that comes with it now the thing is is this is definitely kind of cool looking this takes one and a half and two millimeter thermal pads the active back plate takes one one and a half and two millimeter yeah, i'm pretty sure it's two millimeter one one and a half and two millimeter thermal pads so this takes two different sizes this one i kind of just went with what came with with it from the factory so what i ended up coming up with believe it or not is there wasn't a huge difference other than i thought the ek one looked a little bit better but if you wanted to have the original look you would stay with the, the factory so you can compare you can see what looks better what you would prefer and finally last but not least again the active back plate this is what I'm going to be putting on now for a 3090. I definitely think this is going to be a big improvement. Now, the front back plate absolutely dropped the temperature a lot, but the rear VRAM got close to probably 100 Celsius. That's because there's really nothing on it. Fans really blowing on it. There's really nothing directly on it like there is on the other side of a video card when you have three fans blowing up on it. That does make a difference and even 3090s even run hot with that the air control that got down to probably 45 50 celsius which is very good temperatures compared to the 75 80 85 that it got when there was stress on the card so on that let's um let's open this up and take a look at it i haven't checked this out yet so hopefully it's in one piece okay so here we are let's open her up okay we'll take a look and see what it comes with first in this one we have one one and one and a half and twos i already know that because i, I looked it up Let's line them all up you can literally see the thickness of them so on that note i'm gonna cut it out here and we're gonna come back when i get ready to put this together okay a couple quick notes before i forget when you are doing it on the ftw3 there's two screws and if you've ever taken a back plate off you're going to notice this but there's two screws right here you don't use when you put on the other back plate so because it's already got screws that go through it you have to replace them and this one over here at the end where it has the tabs you have to put a screw with a nut in there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to loosen these up now this plate that i'm looking i'm pointing at right here this holds the o-rings in there's little o-rings in there that obviously o-rings are used to seal off the water now on the main water block that's attached to the card and there's going to be two o-rings in there so you want to put those the screws that go into this uh, 2.5 millimeter screws i think they're all seven and eight millimeters long the center it's a 1.5 millimeter thermal pad goes there four around where the gpu would be on the other side one millimeter the two at the end those are two millimeter so let's get on with it so i'm going to remove this is always the scariest part you want to be very careful not to strip something or cross thread something because that would not be good when you tighten these down another thing is you bring them to snug and you just give them a little extra until you feel everything nice and firm you don't want to over tighten anything make sure these are all out now let's let the screws out of here you can clearly see the little o-rings there okay so it looks like i've got everything exactly the way i want it i'm gonna have to take all of the top pieces of plastic off in a minute but right now before i loosen this block and make and i've got to take off this plate and make sure the 
o-rings stay in place when i put this on and you got to do it very carefully okay, so it looks like it looks like i did remove everything that needs to be removed okay so obviously we've got to loosen these up okay, the o-rings are in place you want to be very careful with that you don't want to knock them out of place you slowly lower it down lining up every hole exact when it comes to, to water blocks that are made in this manner, I'd, I, I'd have to say that K takes the cake. They, they, they're the best. Now, you don't want to tighten these down like a maniac. Um, also, there's no, there's no washes with this like there is with the other one. Wow, suck is heavy. This is heavier than a regular one. Couple turns. Did it take? Yep. I'm not going to tighten it. Loosen these up a little bit again. I got it just a little too tight. If it's one little, one little smidgen off, it won't line up. Very tedious. It'll be very, very spot on. Okay, so there you have it. Once you get a few of the corners lined up, I can feel the back plate falling right in line. Let's see, that's pretty dang good. Hello, everybody. All right, we're back. First, we'll start out temps idle 29 to 33 the gpu pretty chill under port royale fire strike temperatures got up to around 73 celsius which is still very 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 good long story short the barrels pump that i was going to put in didn't work and it wouldn't go so i'm sending it back so i put the other pump that is used for cooling a cpu back in there which still pumps just as well as that the barrels but with the barrels you had a small reservoir on it where you could literally watch what was going on maybe i should have gotten the clear top on the graphics so i'd like to thank titan rigs for sending me all this stuff and tighten you'll be getting your pump back so i can get a new one <laughs> i went from a 60 millimeter radiator to a 30 millimeter radiator basically cutting in half and i'm actually getting better temperatures than i got before i have a cooler master three in one fan on the bottom it's it's argb um, i'm going to unplug it because there's really no need to have that there the the, the argb I put two non ARGB fans on the top of the radiator. So basically what I'm getting is a push pull through to the bottom. The, the, the hot air or any warm air that's in there is being pulled out through the radiator. The tubing went well. I didn't have any leaks even on the first try. The tubing is Alpha Cool 7.5 cooling um, tubing, rubber tubing. It's specifically made for these tapered fittings. These are Alpha Cool fittings. I, for some reason, I must have forgot to plug in the RGB over here. That's no biggie. I'll pull it out and plug it in in a minute. All in all, I'm really, really happy. Other than I didn't get really technical with it as far as. I'm almost tempted on trying hard tubing next time because the rubber tubing is enough as enough, but I'm very happy with it. All I need to do is when I get the new pump in is I'm going to square away the tubing. I've got to straighten some things out, shorten some things up so it's still a little bit messier than I would prefer, but it's all there and it all looks good. So the cooling is fantastic. The active back plate works better than I even expected. It literally cut the temperature of the back top side V Rams. It must have cut it by at least 50%. I am thrilled. Working with the bottom active pump for the GPU, everything is is it just it's it's working and it's harmonious. <laughs> it's just working in concert with each other and it works great. I think EK really hit the nail on the head with their designs. They've got it together. They're probably the best on the market as far as it goes because I looked at the Alpha Quarter block for the 
GPU and it's close but it still runs a little bit warmer and a couple of the other ones that are on the market and it seemed that the EK still ran the coolest but as far as CPU pumps I wouldn't go anywhere without the Alpha Cool uh, they, they just make some of the best pumps that you can ever get your hands on as a matter of fact the water pump that is on here now is an alpha cool water pump so take away from that that's that's a low profile 2600 rpm water pump it's running at full 2600 rpms no do not take the power wire and put it if you're running dual water cooling gpu and you're running cpu water cooling don't take those two plugs and put them into a two-in-one which attaches to the motherboard's cpu fan power which is straight 12 volts because you don't want it to vary you you want it to be straight 12 volts because what i'm going to tell you happens is it it cuts the power in half i tried it for a couple minutes when i first put it together and the temperatures skyrocketed I couldn't figure it out I thought there was air in there I thought something was blocked I, w I went crazy and I said you know something I'm gonna separate these and put them on separate and sure enough that's what it was it was drawing too much power and it was slowing them the CPU and the GPU they thermal throttled within a couple of minutes it, it, it was that bad so people separate power connectors always all right i said i would come back with a short video to show you how this thing how i finished this up wrap things up on it i'm happy with it i think everything looks really good and i'm going to see what they can do about getting me another water pump out as soon as possible and i'll get this one shipped back to them so on that note i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did i thought it was fun if you're new to the channel please subscribe if you're not new to the channel and you're one of my great supporters don't forget to give me a thumbs up i really appreciate you people you're everything without you there's just no sense in this